a lot of people, when they first introduced the idea of Bitcoin, will become stuck on one particular thing, and that's why does Bitcoin have value? Um, to put it short, everything in your life has value because you perceive it to. Um, because I believe something will be beneficial to me, it then has value. If something doesn't have a value to me, or if it's not beneficial to me, or to those around me, then I won't perceive it to have value and to be worth less or even worthless in my own opinion. So all value is perceived. That's the first thing. The second thing is that it's it's out there. It's ethereal. It's it's it is not real. Um, and basically, the consensus of people out there in the world and on the markets will agree on a price, the equilibrium that we think it's worth right now. So the buyers and the sellers will buy and sell, and they'll long and short, and they'll they'll hedge their Bitcoin. And basically, what they're saying is that. On the whole of it, they agree that the, the price should be a certain amount because if they don't, then they'll sell it. And if they think it'll be worth more, then they're going to buy more, which will drive the price up according to supply and demand equilibrium and economic theory. Now, when I explain it to people for the first time, or especially boomers that don't really understand, um, for instance, in Canada, the bills that we use as, as, as tender, as, uh, as legal notes, um, used to say that you could trade in the bill for its value in gold up until about the 80s. Uh, and then after that, they didn't have enough gold to support all the money that they were printing. Uh, and they decided that they were going to put on the bill. It says now this bill is legal tender, which means the government is telling you that it has value. There's no other reason for it to have value except for you to accept the fact that the government thinks you should think that it has value. Um, which is bullshit for a number of reasons, but you can look into that on your own because it's inflationary and it's out of debt and all that fun stuff. Um, but the main point is um, we believe that that money has value because the government tells us it has value and the, the, the Bitcoin has value because people around the world agree on an equilibrium price and that's the, the price of Bitcoin at that time. So it's based on technology and it's based on consensus, which is a very important factor for blockchain because consensus or, or agreeing on things is how blocks are formed and how everybody agrees on the state of the network. But here's what I like to say to people. Your life has value because you perceive it to. Somebody in China probably doesn't think that your life has that much value. They probably consider you a number uh, and they don't know who you are. And they wouldn't, they really wouldn't care whether or not you existed or not, just because they're not exposed to you, they don't know you, they have no feelings about you. So your life has no value to them. Your life, everything you do, everything you've seen, everything you know, has no value to those people. And it does absolutely have value to you because you perceive it to. And that's the reason that Bitcoin has value through perceived consensus of the markets and people that think that it does have value will continue to buy and people that think that it's at its peak of value will continue to sell at the price that's best for them.